So from like an early age, I understood that, you know, working hard doesn't equal making a lot of money. Mm. And um, I think that that kind of grew the, the inner entrepreneur in me because I, I realized that we have to work smart to make a lot of money, right? There's so many ways to make money online, but the easiest way is leveraging a, a product that's already selling yeah. and a product from a brand that's already well known. You know, it's crazy because a lot of people let things like that hold them back, but yeah. I literally became a multimillionaire through my, mm. within my probation you know, yeah. terms. Realize that every day that you wake up, you got two options. You can either pick faith or fear. And in the 24 years that I've been, on been alive, nothing good has ever happened with me picking fears. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. I know you want to watch this next video, but listen, if you are an entrepreneur, business coach, business consultant, or a small business owner who has a story and wants to learn how to create multiple streams of income from your story, I need you to text me right now. My book to 646-687-4152. That is my personal number. I have been an author for over 12 years. I've written 10 books. Four of them have been bestsellers, and I've sold over 100,000 books. But I've also helped a lot of my clients take their expertise and put it into a story, then create multiple streams of income from that. So I wanna help you do the same thing. So text my book to 646-687-4152. All right, all right, let's go back to the video. So welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash, the greatest money mindset show on the planet. Uh, when I tell you that this show is going to inspire you and remove every excuse that you've ever had to living your best abundant life. When I tell you I am passionate um, about you know making sure that people maximize their full potential. I talk about my story growing up as a kid in the projects and single parent home and being you know one mistake away from a felony to becoming the first multi-millionaire in my family. Well, listen, when I tell you Will Rivera is going to change the game for you after working at LA Fitness and he was bored and frustrated with his job, he came across an Instagram ad while scrolling through his phone. He had been searching for direction and exit strategy to release him from his underpaid nine to five. This particular ad would lead him to attend an e-commerce conference for drop shipping and Amazon, right, in Atlanta, Georgia. A few, a few years later, and after lots of trials and tribulations and trials and errors, Will finally found the e-commerce success he was looking for from a felon at 17 years old to a multi-millionaire 24 years old. Listen, y'all, welcome, like round of applause, everything for my guy, Will Rivera! Yeah. Appreciate you having me on here, man. Yo, so 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 first first first, let me just say this, right? Um, I've I've seen your stuff online a lot. Um, you know, I, I see how uh, you really are intentional about helping people um, really learn the online e-commerce game at another level. Um, in fact, you know, you know, behind the scenes, I was telling you how, I, like, I was borrowing some of your stuff. Like, right, right. I didn't even know you yet, yeah. right? And I was borrowing some of your stuff because I, you know, I started doing, you know, webinars, and you know, fast out to my guy Dame, my my ass guy was like, yo. You know, yo, model this dude. And so I'm watching his stuff and it actually like helped me a lot, you know, as far as being able to convert, um, you know, people who are watching my webinars and kind of getting to that next level where, uh, you know, they, they know, like, and trust me and they become, uh, paying fans, right? right. Um, and so I want to get into all of that to really, um, help people understand, uh, the, the online e-commerce game. But before we go there, for those who don't know, who is Will Rivera? Right. I mean, it's a deep question, but I'm just a regular guy, right? So uh, my family came here from Nicaragua. Yeah. So I grew up with my mom mainly. My dad wasn't really around. Um, and uh, I grew up in, I was born in Miami. And I kind of grew up watching my mom work real hard, but not make a lot of money. Mm. So from like an early age, I understood that, you know, working hard doesn't equal making a lot of money. Mm. 
And um, I think that that kind of brewed the, the inner entrepreneur in me because I, I realized that we have to work smart to make a lot of money, right? Mm. So, you know, early on in my childhood, I played sports. I played basketball, you know, so I was always competitive. And, um, you know, from, from then on, I went to college just like everyone else. I mm. thought that was just the next step. Wasn't really thinking anything past that. I was just like, all right, you go to high school, then you go to college, right? Mm. That's what you have to do. Um, and I was never good at school and college I was even worse at mm -hmm. because uh, I went for computer science mm -hmm. because, you know, I did kind of what everyone would do. I looked up all the careers. I was like, oh, highest paying one, mm -hmm. computer science, yeah, what so I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. and, but then I realized that there's a lot of math involved mm -hmm. in computer science, something that I lacked mm -hmm. at the time. I'm, I'm a little better now, but I was not good at math back then. So um, I quickly realized that, you know, I can't get this computer science degree. It's just going to be impossible mm -hmm. for me. So um, I went, got a warehouse job working at Amazon. Um, eventually, I was like, you know what? I want to have a good back in my 20s and mm -hmm. not, not, you know, get my back out of this job. So sure. I took a less paying job at LA Fitness. Mm -hmm. And while I was working there, I did my research online. Like, how can I make more money? Because, mm -hmm. you know, all the way up till really 23, my mom, you know, me and my mom were hopping from apartment to apartment. Mm -hmm. Um, I had the blessing to be able to buy my mom a house this year wow. or last year. Wow. And that was the first house she's ever lived in wow. in her life. Blessings. And um, so we, yeah, while I was working at LA Fitness, I was trying to find ways to make more money. Mm -hmm. And through that, you know, you're in the marketing world too. Mm -hmm. I got put into that make money online algorithm. Yes, yeah. So I started seeing all the ads, you know, mm -hmm. how to make money with wholesale real estate, how to make money with stocks, uh, options trading. And I came across the e-commerce ad and it intrigued me because they were talking about how you can make money online without having to use any of your own money. Mm. And I was in a place in my life where I didn't have that much money, you know. Yeah. I was working at LA Fitness, but half of my checks were going to Uber because mm. I didn't have a car either. Mm. So, um, you know, I learned about this thing called drop shipping, where you could basically sell products online and not have to hold any inventory. You're basically selling the product before you even have to, you know, buy it from your supplier mm -hmm. and your supplier would ship it to your customer. And through that, I saw a little bit of success and, you know, eventually it popped off for me. Um, eventually I was working at LA Fitness and making more money on my online business than I was working at my job. Mm -hmm. So uh, through that, it spiraled a lot of things. And I, I came up, I, I came into uh, Amazon Wholesale. Mm -hmm. So for those of you guys that don't know about Amazon Wholesale, not a lot of people really talk about it. You know, you hear people always talk about how you can source products from China mm -hmm. and sell them online. Mm -hmm. But no one talks about how you can leverage already big name brands like Sony, Logitech, Fiji, and how you can actually partner with these companies, buy their products at a wholesale price, and then sell them for retail on Amazon. Mm. And that's what took me to the next level. Mm. So I went from making like 10K a month with my online business to 300K a month wow. selling products from these big name brands because mm. they already have the customers, they're already doing the marketing, and you know that's allowed me to basically do what I began entrepreneurship for, which was take care of my family. So, mm, yeah. Wow. That's powerful. Now, multimillionaire. Uh, you own a gym. We'll talk about that, yeah. you know, you know, in a second. But felony at 17. Talk, talk to me about that. How that happened? Right. So, you know, again, just trying to make money yeah. in high school. I was working at this uh, athletic sports store. I'm not going to say the name. Yep. But, uh, you know, I was giving discounts to my friends and making money on the low mm. while I was in school. Yeah. And eventually they they knew what I was doing the whole time. Yeah. But they let me get over the threshold, the felony threshold, which is over like five thousand dollars in merchandise. Wow. OK. And then, yeah, then I got booked. I got five years probation. Yeah. I just got off it literally last month. Mm. But, um, you know, it's crazy because a lot of people let things like that hold them back. But yeah. I literally became a multimillionaire through my mm. within my probation you know, yeah. term. So. And, 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 that, and that's that I think that's. What, that was going to be one of my questions because a lot, I think a lot of times um, people look at um, bad things or, or quote unquote because I don't I don't really believe good or bad. I believe everything is working for our greater good, right? Right. Uh, but a lot of times people look at things that could potentially uh, be thought of as bad as like a hindrance or something that's stopping them, and then it, it you know it kind of gets them to a space where you know they'll give up or whatever the case may be. Um, but and then that's why I got excited because when I saw yo felon at seventeen, multimillionaire at twenty four, that told me that you use that situation the way those situations are supposed to be used. Like I believe anybody that goes through hardship, um, that's that's like an opportunity right. to like prove God, like prove that you can overcome and get to that next level. And so. Um, how did you view that and, 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 and did, how was that situation 
ultimately a blessing for you. Right. I mean, I always felt like I had a chip on my shoulder. You yeah. know, I have other little brothers. I have three little brothers. Yeah. And I always felt like I was not only their big brother, mm -hmm. but almost kind of like their dad in a way mm -hmm. because my dad wasn't around. So I always had that chip on my shoulder. And then when I got that felony, I was like, oh, dang, like now I really got to prove it to my mom and my little brothers mm -hmm. that, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to let this felony describe who I am. Mm. So uh, it, it motivated me a lot. And I feel like the more hardship you go through in adversity, yeah. that just makes your story better. Your yeah. come up story. Right. Yeah. No one. No one likes to hear the story of people that, you know, they had money already. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the greatest movies come from movies where people go through struggle and they overcome it. Yeah. So, um, you know, I feel like it's a blessing to, yeah. to go through adversity in your life because it's only going to make you a better and tougher person. Not 100 percent. And so now, you know, you're. You learned and you said something earlier in your intro that, you know, you watch your mom work hard, but she she didn't have money. And so it taught you early on that working harder doesn't equal money. Right. It's it's working smarter that 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 gets you that money. Um, talk about like what is the easiest way to make money online? Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, there's so many ways to make money online, but the easiest way is leveraging a, a product that's already selling yeah. and a product from a brand that's already well known. Mm. So, you know, instead of trying to create a revolutionary product or instead of trying to, you know, learn how to market, mm -hmm. you can literally, you know, partner with these big name brands. People don't know, but these brands have, you know, hundreds of staff where their job is to sell bulk product to people like myself, people mm -hmm. like you, mm -hmm. and then have us resell it on Amazon. Mm. Um, and Amazon is the number one e-commerce marketplace in the world. Mm. Not only that, but over 50% of the US population shops on Amazon. Mm. So that's a, a crazy amount of people. Yeah. And when you combine a, a credible store like Amazon, and you combine a credible brand, like let's say Sony, for example, mm -hmm. that's the holy grail of e-commerce mm. because now you don't have to be good at marketing. Mm. You, don't have to you don't have to convince someone to buy a Sony speaker or someone to buy some bounty paper towels. Mm. They're already doing that. Facts. Um, so you just open up the wholesale account with these brands and sell them on Amazon. And that's the easiest way to make money online. Wow. Easy. wow. My little brother makes $5,000 a month on Amazon. He's 15 years old, wow. doesn't have a driver's license, doesn't have a LLC doesn't have any of these things that people try to put in, put in front of them to mm. use as excuses mm. for not making money. So like wow. it's as simple as, you know, getting a Costco membership, mm -hmm. going to Costco or Sam's Club and you can literally buy products there mm. and resell them on Amazon because they're already at a wholesale discount in these mm. stores. Wow. Wow, and then so, you know, once you buy the product, so you are um, shipping it out to the customers that buy it when, once you have it? See, and this, this is the beauty of Amazon. So mm. Amazon has this program called FBA. Mm. It stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. So let's say, for example, I open up a wholesale account with like Bounty mm. and I'm buying their paper, paper towels at a wholesale cost. Um, if I order a thousand paper towels from Bounty, they're not going to ship it to me. Mm. They're going to ship it to Amazon's warehouse. Mm. And then every time I get a sale, Amazon ships it to my customer and I get paid. Amazon takes 10 to 20 percent for doing voila, all the work. Voila, voila, wait, wait, yeah. wait. So, so, so I, I, you know, I'm familiar with this concept because uh, I'm an author, right? So I've mm -hmm. written 13 books, um, and all of my books are on Amazon. Nice. Um, and when I um, publish the book, I upload all the files to Amazon. Amazon prints out the book, so every time somebody buys it, buys one of my books from Amazon. They're the ones printing it. They're the ones shipping everything out. Right. And so you're saying that this FBA program fulfilled by Amazon is literally you um, buying something wholesale, sending it to Amazon's warehouse. So you don't even have to have it like because when you just said this just just now, like you know, I got my, my daughter's 14, right? right. And you said you you said you said your brother's making five thousand five k a month. So in my head, I'm like, oh. We got a we got we, we got a job for, for for my daughter, but then then I started thinking to myself like, ain't no way I'm turning my house into a warehouse right. and I'm and and I'm and I'm gonna have you know you know bounty and, and toilet paper all yeah. in my garage. Right. But you're saying no, that's not the case. Exactly right. There's a reason why Amazon has all these warehouses across the country, and it's because over 50% of the products on Amazon are also sold by third-party sellers. A lot of people think that Amazon makes all this money from selling product, but they're smarter than that. They're letting us you know, take the risk and sell the product. They just take a percentage of all the sales. Wow. But luckily for us, Amazon gets so much traffic that you can make so much money on that platform without running ads, 
without you know owning a product and without having to ship it yourself because they're handling all the fulfillment. Wow. And so what what's the uh like why wouldn't somebody do this? A information. <laughs> right. Information changes situations. Like my boy Neil says, you know, some people it's the same reason why I was working at an Amazon warehouse or the same reason why I was working at LA Fitness and not doing this then. Mm. I simply just didn't know. Yeah. So, you know, the more you expose yourself to information like this, the the more likely you're going to actually take action and do it. Wow. Wow. And then so now, um, you know, you have your, your products or services up there. What are some of like some of the tricks or some of the things that somebody could do in order to bring more light to their actual Amazon page? Right. Because if let's say I'm looking for bounty. Um, on Amazon, because I, I do, I shop everywhere on Amazon, right? right? Like everything I need, I, I shop on Amazon. And to be honest, um, I've been, you know, if they say bestseller or if they say Amazon pick, I, like I, my eyes go there first, yeah. right? But what are some ways to kind of increase the the probability that somebody's gonna buy your product? Right, that's a great question. See, the beauty of Amazon too is there's not multiple listings. Mm. You know, on eBay, you might search bounty paper towels, and there might be a hundred. You know, there might be a pack of 12 for 10, there might be a pack of 12 for seven, pack of 12 for eight, everyone's competing against each other. But the way Amazon does it is if you search for bounty paper towels on Amazon, mm -hmm. there's only one listing. Hmm. And that one listing has all the reviews, but all of the sellers that are selling that listing, they're sharing it. So Amazon rotates the sales amongst all the sellers. It's the same thing if you search for this mic on Amazon, there's not gonna be a hundred mics with different prices, it's mm -hmm. just one listing. And then there's multiple sellers under that one listings. And the, the price is called the buy box. That buy box gets rotated amongst all the sellers. So if, if, a, if a listing is getting 1,000 units a month and there's 10 sellers, everyone's getting 100 orders a month. Nah, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me, right, um, I have a, you know, like let's say something popular, right? So like a popular item that's selling a lot. Is there any restrictions to um being able to be part of the fulfilled by amazon so like let's say um i mean we we could we could stick to to bounty right so right. like everybody needs um you know paper towels and 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 you know just for clarity right you're saying that 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 bounty 12 ply that i buy all the time right like i'm not gonna see multiple listings of it amazon is gonna both both that all together, exactly. and then and then all the people who sell it, they're gonna you know uh, fulfill it you know you know uh, uh, through Amazon, right? Um, is there like an unlimited amount of space, or or does Amazon put sort of like a, you know a hold, or or they're just like a certain amount of people can sell this, you can't sell this, or like how does that work? There's really no cap to how many sellers can sell something wow. because the volume on Amazon is insane. Mm. You know, like there could be 500 sellers selling on one listing yeah. and everyone could be making money because there are millions of people ordering that one product daily. Mm. You know, the, the volume on Am Amazon is insane. Like wow. Some of these products are doing millions of dollars a month, tens of millions of dollars a month because everyone shops on Amazon. And I mean, ask yourself, when was the last time you went to Amazon and questioned whether you would buy or not. Right. You don't like do that, I, like, right? When someone has a brand, like if you start your own brand or your own website, people will go on your website and be like, oh, I don't know if I trust this facts. website. But on Amazon, it's just you go on there and you're buying. Facts. And, and it's almost to the point where like, man, I got my card saved. Everything mm -hmm. is one click for me. Like exactly. if I need some, I'm just in and out. Um, and so so I, look, I'm just because... I'm just when I said that earlier, when I was like, yo, you're going to remove all excuses, I was just talking about your story. I wasn't even, look, I wasn't even talking about the actual process, but now not only do you have a triumph story, right, that regardless of your circumstance, you're going to push through, but now this business model, like I'm trying to poke holes in it, right, because mm -hmm. I'm like, wait, wait, you know what I'm saying? Because this business model seems so... Um, ironclad right and so the only job that you have is to buy products and that's it yeah yeah you literally your only job is to source products so to open up wholesale accounts with these different companies 
So the only trick I would say is maybe a company like Bounty or Sony, they're so big that they not they may not be accepting wholesale clients at the time, mm -hmm. but you can always go for the smaller brands too. Yeah. You know, when you go to Kroger down the paper towel aisle, you'll mm -hmm. see Bounty, but then you see a whole bunch of other brands. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're not as big as Bounty, but mm -hmm. I guarantee you they have customers. That's yeah. why they're in these big box retailers like Walmart, Kroger's, et cetera. Yeah. And essentially what you're doing when you sell on Amazon is you're an online retailer, just like how Walmart is, you know, a, a retailer. Yeah. You're in Sam, Sam Walton, which is the owner of Walmart. That's mm -hmm. how he made his first like million of millions of dollars mm -hmm. is he didn't start Walmart and start selling his own products. He started Walmart and he started housing products from brands that people already love. Wow. And that's what you're doing when you're selling name brand products on Amazon. Wow. Wow. And so like, I mean, you know, like, you know, I, I know, I know you, you, you were introduced to this through like an ad and things mm -hmm. of that nature. Um, now that you have seen this and I, and I know you, you know, you're always, uh, helping people, you know, start their own business, uh, online business, e-commerce business. What has been the biggest resistance that you find when trying to explain this or have other people, uh, you know, join this this revolution of making yeah. easy money online? I mean, it's always the same objections for really any any type of opportunity for some people where it's like they think it's saturated. Yeah. And, you know, I tell people all the time, like, I hate the word saturated mm -hmm. because it's literally a word that people made up to make themselves feel better mm. about not attempting to do something. Wow. Because wow. anything that's saturated, that just means it's it has high demand in the market. Yeah. So for you to say that, you know, selling on Amazon is saturated, it's like you saying that people are going to stop buying on Amazon, mm. yeah. which is it's not true at all. Yeah. You yeah. Know, it's, it's always going to be there. The opportunity is always going to be there. So um, that's, that's like the biggest objection that I get. Also, a lot of people say, you know, what if I don't have a lot of money? Mm -hmm. And, you know, because sometimes you might open up a wholesale account with a brand and they have an MOQ, mm -hmm. which is a minimum order quantity. Okay. So they might be like, all right, to order wholesale from us, you must order 100 units. Mm -hmm. Well, let's say like their product costs a hundred dollars, you know, a hundred units. That may be a lot of money for you. Mm -hmm. But um, you can start by going to, you know, the Costco's and the Sam's Clubs. Mm -hmm. And that way you don't have to deal with the supplier directly mm -hmm. because there's really two ways you can do this. If I wanted to sell Bounty Paper Towels, I could go straight to Bounty's website and apply to open up a wholesale account with them. That's usually the best way because I can order a lot. Mm. I can order through the phone mm. or via email. I don't have to do any work. They'll mm. ship it to Amazon and you're basically kind of hands off. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't have that much money, obviously you probably got more time. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to do it the other way. This is the way that my brother does it because he has, he's 15 years old, mm -hmm. doesn't have a job. This is what he does, right? So he just goes to Costco, mm -hmm. Sam's Club, and you can go to the bounty products there and you can just order what, what you have. Like if you only have $500, just order $500 worth of product. Mm. And from there, you don't have to open up a wholesale account with the brand. Mm. You don't have to, you know, you don't have an MOQ. Sam's Club's not gonna tell you, hey, you gotta order 100 units minimum. You can order what you can afford and you can flip that and you can just move up from there. Mm. And then so, um, are there any prices uh, or is there any cost to open up this FBA account with Amazon? Like, how did, like, like what's the process of, of, of getting an account with them? Right. So an Amazon seller account right now is about $40 a month. Mm. But that's really your only cost. Yeah. And then um, Amazon also has what's called an Amazon FBA calculator. Mm -hmm. And you can download the Amazon seller app on your phone. It's free to use. And you can literally, like, if you wanted to sell a product, let's say you're in the store and you're like, I'm thinking of selling this product right here. Mm -hmm. You can scan it with the Amazon seller app and you can type in what the store is selling that product for. And Amazon will literally tell you after all fees, here's your profit. Mm. And so now, you know, um, you know, this is what my profit is going to be. I bought, you know, let's say a, a, a hundred, you know, uh, uh, packages of bounty tissues. Yeah. Um, what is the, the, the life cycle? Like, like how long does it, does it take? Is it normally, is there like a, a, a set amount of time mm -hmm. or is it, you know, do you, do you, are, are you able to figure out what products sell faster than the other? Like what's the, the time frame? Yeah. Usually? So big name brand products on Amazon sell extremely fast, yeah. but if you want to be like exact with it, um, you can actually go on Google, type in Amazon product finder. There's mm -hmm. a website called Amazon scout. They have a free sales estimator. So every listing on Amazon has what's called a sales rank. So let's go back to Bounty. If we go to the Bounty Paper Towels listing on Amazon and we scroll all the way down, it's gonna say best sellers rank, and then oh. it's gonna say a number. 
and then it's going to say a category. So it might say like 500, maybe the number is 500 and mm -hmm. the category might be like home, you know, home supplies or something. And if you go into this Amazon product finder website called Amazon Scout, you can type in that number, type in that category, and it'll tell you exactly how many orders a month that product is getting every single month. Wow. So then you take that number and you divide it by the number of sellers selling that product and you know basically how many orders you'll get a month. Mm. And it's easy to see how many sellers are selling that product because under the buy now button on Amazon, it'll say other sellers and then mm. it'll say a number. And that's mm. how many total sellers. Wow. Are on that yeah. Wow. Man, I'm not, look, you, you offer a class, right? Because I'm like, I sign me up, man, right? because I, cause I, cause I'm, I'm about to have my daughter, right. you, know, you know, do this. Um, you know, what made you want to start uh, teaching others how to, how to do this? It's crazy because um, I don't know, I guess only answer is God, but I don't know what, like, made me document my process, but yeah. all the way from when I was working at the warehouse, yeah. all the way to, to now, I've been documenting my whole journey on mm. social media. Yeah. So back in, like, 2016, I probably had, like, a thousand followers mm -hmm. just from my high school friends, mm -hmm. college friends. And when I started learning about entrepreneurship, not even e-commerce yet, mm -hmm. just, like, you know, thinking differently and thinking abundantly, I started posting, like, all the books that I was reading, mm -hmm. all the gems that I would come across, even like real estate stuff. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I was just posting it on social media and nothing was really happening. But um, eventually when I started making money with e-commerce, you know, my friends started DMing me like, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, and it got to the point where I was like, you know what, I'll just teach you guys for free. Mm -hmm. So I would go to college, the college that I dropped out of, like mm -hmm. I was just utilizing the resources. Mm -hmm. I used to go to this college called Georgia Gwinnett College mm -hmm. and I would pull up there and I would use the library and um, because I didn't have a computer at the time. So I was using the library computer, making money online. So again, no excuses. I literally started my first <laughs> online business. I didn't have a computer. Wow. So I was using the library computer. I would have my friends pull up and I was teaching them, you know, how to sell products online. Mm. Eventually, my friends started making a lot of money, too. Mm. And the word kind of just spread in my community. I lived in uh, Gwinnett County. And mm -hmm. at the time, like in 2016, no one was really doing e-commerce like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. in that area. So I kind of blew up locally. Mm -hmm. And it got to the point where I was like, you know, I can't help everyone one on one. So I'm going to just create a program. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe I can make $10,000 mm -hmm. with this program. Yeah. Like, that's how low of a goal I had in my mind because mm -hmm. I didn't even know you could make millions of dollars with, with programs mm -hmm. like, like we know now. Yeah. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna create this, this program for my community and let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. So that was Ecom Degree University. So we've been out since like 2018. Now we have like tens of thousands of students. Wow. We've done over like $10 million in sales. Wow. And uh, yeah, I host a free workshop every Sunday where yeah. I basically break down the game step by step. And I've been doing this free class every Sunday for the past two years. Wow. Never missed a Sunday. So, wow, yeah. wow. Man, that like that's so so powerful because again, um, you know, I believe that when you know you are you have an opportunity and you learn something that can help other people's lives, I almost feel like we have an obligation to like help other people get it. Um, some people are gonna take action, some people are not. Um, and even better, I like the fact that like you like you're like, yo. I, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give you a, a like for two years. You've been doing a free workshop. Yeah. Like every single Sunday. Yeah, and it's it's crazy because um, y'all y'all will see it if you go to like my Instagram. But I have this plaque, and we were yeah. talking about it earlier. Yep. So I have a plaque that I give to everyone that attends the workshop and yeah. ends up making over six figures. Wow. And you know, since we started doing the workshops, we've given out over two hundred of those plaques. Wow. So people are really taking this information and like seeing crazy results with it. And you know, it doesn't really blow my mind that much because if you do actually implement what we're teaching you, you're gonna get results. You know, if my 15 year old brother can do it, I'm sure you can too. Wow. And so, you know, other than, so now like, you, man, you, you've, um, at tw see, I, I'm just, I'm just still, it's, it's just remarkable for me that as a 24 year old, you were able to create an eight figure business, right? You're helping others, you're documenting how you've helped over 200 people create six figures. I know people right now who are trying to figure out how to like make ends meet, mm -hmm. uh, have degrees, looking at the economy, seeing that these things are, 
you know, you know, you know, how, you know, jobs are being scarce and things of that nature. But but on this other side, there's this opportunity that's that needs more people. Like, is it saturated or does it need more people? It needs more people, man. Like Amazon relies on us to supply their website. You wow. know, Amazon is the number one e-commerce marketplace in the world. More and more people are shopping online every single day. You know, and like e-commerce is one of those industries where it's only gone up in the yeah. past 10 years. Yeah. You know, stocks go up and down. Crypto mm -hmm. goes up and down. E-commerce has only gone up because people, you know, it's just convenient. Yeah. And people are just, they just want to shop online now. They don't want to go to stores. Yeah. And Amazon is the king at what they do. So, you know, if, if you're trying to make some money, if you need another stream of income, I would seriously suggest looking into selling on Amazon because you can make some money there. And, and a lot of times, you know, we talked about this too, where... I, I realized at an early age that hard work doesn't mean making a lot of money. Thanks. And a lot of you guys, you may be working hard, mm -hmm. but it might just be the wrong vertical that you're mm -hmm. doing right now. Yeah. And I guarantee you Amazon is that vertical right now in 2023 that if you take advantage of this information on this podcast, you can see a lot of money being made very soon if you implement this formula. Wow. And so let, let's, 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 talk, let's talk a little bit about some of the things you've been able to do, you know, with, you know, building a successful business on Amazon. Um, what other type of businesses have you have you invested in? Right, so with the, the e-commerce money, um, I mean, the, the first couple of things that I did before I even started other businesses what I, was I got my mom right, because yeah. that's, that's what I've always wanted to do. So yeah. I bought my mom a house. Um, I recently, last month, bought her a car. Mm. And then um, after I did those two things, I invested in an apartment building. So mm. I actually own a 24-unit apartment building in Conyers. Whoa. Um, it's crazy because actually tomorrow they're putting down my sign. So it's going to be called Rivera Park. <laughs> so so you'll, you'll see the content of that. <laughs> That's actually going to be an ad. So, Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're doing that. Um, I also own a gym in Chambly. Yeah. Um, it's called Rich and Fit. So mm. we actually did a boot camp yesterday. I had over 100 people there. Wow. Crazy. And um, right now, those are kind of like the two main things. So yeah. commercial real estate, for sure. Probably going to yeah. buy another building um, within the next month or two. Yeah. And then uh, growing the gym as well. Hey, yo, if y'all don't see me next week, Cause I'm selling on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, 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 what, what made you get into uh, like why, why real estate? So my mentor, he actually owns 600 units all in Atlanta. Whew. His name's Ed Bolden. So like over a hundred million dollar real estate portfolio. Wow. Going crazy. And and commercial real estate is just one of those things where if you are making a lot of money in whatever it is that you mm. do, yep. it just has the best tax advantages Absolutely. over everything. You know, yeah. the one building that I bought, not only is it cash flowing, mm -hmm. not only am I going to cash out refinance. Mm. And for, for those of you guys that don't know, you know, if you buy a building and you repair it, you, let's say, I'll just give you this example. I bought my building for $2.6 million. Mm -hmm. As soon as I bought it, it got appraised at 2.8. Sheesh. I'm about to put 200K of work into it. Yeah. When it's done, which will be in like two months, it'll mm -hmm. be worth 3.4 million. Mm -hmm. So that 2.6 million to 3.4 million mm -hmm. spread, yeah. I'll be able to pull out mm -hmm. and that's tax free. Mm -hmm. So I don't pay taxes on that. <laughs> not, not only that, but when I bought the building, I immediately saved 800K in taxes for mm. this year. Mm. So all that money that I'm making online, now I can offset the taxes by buying assets. Mm. So that's why I got into commercial real estate. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then, and then uh, what, what was the uh, passion or the, the re, you know, why did you want to start a gym? So the, you know, the gym's always been big for me, really for like just therapy reasons like yeah. I just feel good when I'm in the gym yeah um, it's like the first win of the day for me yeah and um you know my trainer Timmy behind the camera um he just has great energy mm -hmm. and at first I was working out with him um the great thing about him is he's not only a, a great trainer but he's a videographer mm. and in the business that I'm in content is important facts yeah. so you know as I was working out with him and, and just having a great experience working out with him and getting content um, I wanted to bring that experience to more people. Mm. So that's why I started Rich and Fit, which is like one of the only gyms right now where not only are you going to get a great workout, great energy, mm. but you get content too. Mm. So before you leave the gym, you're going to get your content right then and there. Wow. 4K. So it's great for like content creators or even if you're not a content creator, yeah. let's say, you know, you want to go through a transformation. Yeah. You don't even have to worry about documenting the process. We're going to document it for you. Like I'm there, B. I'm like, yeah. like I'm in the process, B. Because I was, you know, I, I play I play ball too. Where I tore my Achilles, um, and so once I tore my Achilles, I gained a lot of weight. So mm -hmm. now I'm in the in the process of getting right, oh, man. Yeah, we need and to and see that, that I mean, it, you know, from a um, 
manifestation perspective, I love the name, right? Rich and fit, mm -hmm. because I'm rich already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now it's time to get fit. I'm actually fit too, because, you know, like I have a scale um, that when I get on the scale, it tells you how much muscle you have. Mm -hmm. So I already, like, I have 180 pounds of muscle on me. It's just that all this other stuff decided yeah. to, you know, yeah. <laughs> to surround it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Like, like play if y'all want, though. I'm, <laughs> I'm really 180 pounds solid. Nah, I see her, brother. You know I what I'm trying to <laughs> say? I just got to get rid of all the other yeah, stuff. We need to so see I, you in there. Yeah, yeah. So I got I to gotta, I gotta come in and... It get, it get fit, fitter. The cool thing, too, about fitness is, like, the same characteristics that it takes to be fit are yeah. the same ones that it takes for it to be rich. Mm. You know, just being disciplined yeah. and just, you know, implementing a formula that works, right? Yeah. A workout plan that works for you or yeah. a business that works for someone else that can work for you as well. Yeah. And, um, That's a book, matter of fact. Oh, for real. So, I'm a, so we're going to talk behind the scenes, right? Because I love it. Rich and fit. Like, like if we start talking about the same, like the philosophies, yeah. that's that's actual book. But I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh no, yeah, we gonna yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, that's it, a play right there. Yeah and, yeah. and the thing too about rich and fit is like, yeah, it's called rich and fit, and like, yeah, we're talking about you know building wealth and getting fit. Yeah. But uh, wealth is in the mind too. And uh, when you walk into Rich and Fit, right above our water fountain, we have like a turf wall. Mm. And there's a sign that says "Rich is in the mind," Ooh, because yeah. even if your park pockets aren't right yet, yeah, the mindset shift comes before the income shift, mm. and that's what we preach at Rich and Fit too. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, and I love that. And and you know, you know, again, um, I think it's powerful because for, on so many different levels, um, like if anybody who's watching this show, um, if you're not inspired, if you're not um, ready to take action immediately. Like if you're not telling telling it, if you first of all, if you didn't pause this, hit the link to join his free right his free masterclass on Sunday. Then I don't know what you're doing. First and foremost, second of all, um, if you are not inspired by understanding that no matter what your circumstance is, you can be, do, or have anything you put your mind to. So I, you know, I don't know. I don't, I, you know, I don't know what else to tell you. And lastly, if you're not sharing this with every single person you know, then you don't understand the true way to get abundance. Because the one thing that I that I've noticed so far um, about you, and you could correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like you understand how blessing other people is ultimately blessing yourself. Like everything that you've said that like everything I think about that has blessed you, you've talked about ways that it has blessed other people. And then even from the gym to your trainer, Timmy, to your brother, to your mother, to the people who you give plaques to, like there is a common theme, if you will, of you not hoarding your blessings. Why is that? I mean, if it's it's blessed to be blessed, yeah, right? But it's yeah. even more of a blessing to bless other people, and yeah. it's always gonna come back. Yeah, you know, nothing bad has ever happened to me for blessing someone else, mm. and I actually, you know, that's actually what fulfills me. You know, it gets yeah. to a point where you make enough money to where you know making more money doesn't really change how you feel or anything. Yeah. But what what does make you happy is like making other people happy, Facts. which is like why the best thing that I've ever done in my whole career was buy my mom a house. Yeah. That was like my mission. Yeah. You know, I could have died right then and there and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm dying peacefully. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. that's that's yeah. what I started, you know, business for. Yeah. It wasn't to make a lot of money. Yeah. I never really wanted to make a lot of money. I wanted to make enough to support my family. So yeah. hey man, if you can bless someone else, then you do it. Why man, not? Man, man. What what kind what kind of mindset does it take or help help some, some one of our viewers right now, right? Somebody you know, somebody's making an excuse. Somebody's, um, you know, trying to find a way out of being the best that they could be. Um, help them out. What type? What type of uh, mindset shift or something you could tell them that's going to help shift their mindset? Yeah, I mean, if you want to become successful or you truly say that's what you want to do. Um, it's going to come from one or two things: either inspiration mm. or desperation. Ooh. And for me, it was more so kind of both of them. Mm. Desperation because I was tired of seeing how helpless my mom was with mm. trying to pay her bills and take care of all of us. Mm. And that led me down to where, you know, my back was kind of against the wall. And I was like, you know, I have to, if I don't do this for my family, then who's going to do it? Yeah. 
Um, but you know, you don't have to wait till your back's against the wall to be successful either. Mm. It's much better to be successful off inspiration, mm. which is seeing someone else do something that you want to do mm. and then following their footsteps to get there. Yeah. So what I would say is don't wait to get to that desperation level. Yeah. Um, if someone inspired you, realize that what someone else does, you can do as well. Yeah. Right. It's kind of like the the Roger Bannister story where he ran a four minute mile mm -hmm. and for the longest, no one could run that mile. Yeah. But when he did it, a bunch of people started running the four yeah. minute mile, like yeah. literally within the same week, yeah. just because people saw that it was possible. Mm -hmm. So if you see someone out here killing it and winning in business, realize that you can do the same thing. And yeah. we live in the information age where you don't have to, you know, go through bunch go through a bunch of books or go to the best college to get, you know, information. You mm -hmm. can literally you're literally like a Google search or a YouTube search away yeah. from implementing a play that could change your life. Yeah, yeah. And what and you know, what do you say to those people? And that was actually really, really awesome because I think that um everybody knows that space, right? Like you know, if, if if you live life, you know being inspired and being desperate, you know, and at the end of the day, inspiration feels way better than, you know, <laughs> being desperate. And so and so what do you say to those people who are stuck in their ways? Um you know, because there's people that 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 have been working hard their whole life, right. and then now some young kid is coming on here, multi-millionaires, telling them, "Look, it's this easy to, um, you know, you know, create financial freedom." What do you say to that person that's like stuck? They're like, "No, it can't be that easy. I'm, you know, it, it got to be more difficult than what he's saying." Yeah, I mean, you got to realize first off that nothing's going to change unless you, you change, mm. right? Unless you change what you're doing. Yeah. And what's ironic about that is that most of my successful students are actually above the age of 40. Oh, wow. It's a lot of these, you know, single moms yeah. or busy dads, busy moms that, you know, they, they want to learn how to do something from home that requires little time and little money. Mm. And they end up attending the workshop on Sunday that we do for free. Mm. And they end up implementing that game and literally changing their life. Wow. And the beauty of this is kind of like what you were saying earlier, is now they're able not to only change their life, mm. but set up their kids as well, because this is something your kid can do too. Mm, yeah. And you become even more of a role model to your children when you lead the way in business and then put them on. Yeah. So I would say you actually have a bigger responsibility as someone that's older to mm. do this so you can put the younger generation on. Wow. Wow. Like this is literally the answer to everything, right? Because we talk about financial freedom. We talk about trying to figure out, you know, how to create that side hustle. You know, a lot of people who watch the show have that nine to five and literally, you know, you know, my brother Storm Leroy says your job is your first business partner, right? Mm -hmm. And so the fact that a lot of the people who have jobs, like this is the easiest thing that they could do because one, they already have the capital, right? Number two, with that capital, they could take it and start to do the research, figure out how to, you know, you know, wholesale certain products and then send those to, to Amazon. And then even if you don't have a job, right, you know, we've, we've had many people. We had, you know, Dion on. We had Dana Christian on. We had, you know, Derek Boone on. People who talk about how to access other people's money. Mm -hmm. And so you don't even have to have a job. You can really run the play of learning how to access other people's money to now go home. So there's literally no excuse, y'all. Y'all watch this episode. Matter of fact, y'all will join Will's free masterclass, learn everything he's telling you to do. And from there, if you have a nine to five, I need you to run the play. If you don't have a nine to five, I need you to rewind and watch one of our older episodes. You know, Dion Coopwood, Dana Christian, Derek Boone, they're all giving you tangible ways and banks that you could use to use OPM, other people's money. And then once you get that money, now come back to this episode and run the play. Uh, Will, any last words for, for, for our audience out there, man? Hey man, listen, you're only one product away from changing your life, so... Realize that every day that you wake up, you got two options. You can either pick faith or fear. And in the 24 years that I've been, on been alive, nothing good has ever happened with me picking fear. Mm. So I dare you to watch this episode, maybe watch it more than once, but pick faith. And I promise you, if you implement what I taught you in this episode and you attend that workshop on Sunday and you take notes, 
you will make money. Oh, there we go. Uh, what's the website where they can join the web, uh, the, the masterclass? Yeah, it's www.ecomdegreeworkshop.com. Um, it's also the link in my bio on my Instagram. My Instagram is Will Change Lives. So again, it's Will Change Lives. And yeah, hope to see you on Sunday. We also have, we're going to make it easy. No excuse. We also have the link right in the description. So all you got to do, Pause this, go right to the description, hit that, register, and make sure you join Will for his free masterclass. Brother, hey, brother. man, I appreciate you, man. Um, this was so powerful. Um, you know, I'm, I'm watching this a couple of times. I'm sharing this with everybody I know. We, old, young, everybody needs to watch this because appreciate this that. is like life changing. Like my, I'm going to run the play. Right, because we actually have a new series that we're gonna do called Behind the Vault, where everybody that comes to our show, we're gonna run the play and then report on the play. So I'm actually giving you my commitment that I'm gonna run the play and I'm gonna report back exactly like step by step how it worked, all of that good stuff. So, brother, we appreciate you, man. Thank you for all you do. Um, another awesome episode, y'all. Like I told y'all, we only bring the best of the best. We only here to change your mindset right inside the vault right we're inside the vault of movers and shakers of people who are doing it in real life we're closing out the vault make sure you visit us inside the vault show.com follow us on all social media platforms at inside the vault me i am ash cash make sure you visit me i am ash cash.com follow me on all social media platforms at i am ash cash Right. And make sure you join us inside of the abundance community. Yo, we got Will. He's dropping some behind the scenes gems that he didn't drop on this episode. And if you know, like I know, he dropped some big gems. So make sure y'all tap into the abundance community. Go to abundancecommunity.org. Abundancecommunity.org. All right, y'all. I will see y'all same time, same place for another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash, the greatest money mindset show on the planet. In God's will, y'all. Peace.